Right, I have removed it for maintenance, but I will show you how to install and also take off a propeller on an outboard. I've got the benefit here, but I've got a nice big lower unit to show you how all the parts actually work. So if I shove this between my legs and point at the splines here, you will see from this year where I have greased it and you'll see the thread on the end which is where the 27 mil nut fits and that's a pretty universal fitting for um, propellers or certainly the larger type anyway. Now each time it comes on and off I would recommend removing all of the grease on the splines and re-greasing it and if you don't grease it it might be difficult to get your propeller on and off um, but on mine it certainly came off nice and easy. So one of the first things you do then is if I pick up the propeller itself is you have various parts. So the very first thing that goes on is this washer here. This is called your thrust washer. It goes with the beveled edge upwards and that slots onto the edge of the gearbox there. Now what that eventually does is that slots into the underside of the propeller. Then you will put on the hub of the propeller, which on this one is a reusable plastic one. So in the event of my propeller getting damaged, I don't need to buy a new hub, I can just swap it across with a new propeller using the existing hub. That will slide onto the splines as so. Here we go. Then you are ready to put on the propeller. There we go. Again, you can see here there's a slight gap between the end of the hub and the top of the propeller. You need to give that a few taps to get that to sit neatly. And at which point you can then apply your castellated nut, which is this, with your additional washer on top, ensuring that it has at least some lugs holding it in position. So I will now apply that. And then you, and then you can put on the nut for the propeller. Now you need to look in your owner's manual as to what torque setting this should be set at. It's very important, you don't want it to be too loose and equally you don't want it to be too tight. There are stories online where people have made up that you could have a propeller go flying. That's not really possible because as the propeller spins, you've already seen the splines. The, there's not that much force on the nut. It's not like it's trying to wrench itself off at all times. And then to remove the propeller is exactly the same process. It's a bit difficult with one hand, but I'll make do. And there we go.